at 7 o'clock on Wednesday, the 17th of August. Elvis Presley, at one time known to millions as the king of rock and roll, has died suddenly at the age of 42. <laughs> the king of rock and roll died yesterday. He was found face down on a bathroom floor. There have been numerous reports that Presley was a heavy drug user. In more about what to expect. Well, um, I was getting my own group together, the Flowers of Romance, and Rotten asked me if I wanted to join the... There's this big hoo-ha on Malcolm said, it's all a big secret, man, you know. Come down to this pub at such and such now. And I thought, I thought they were going to do me over because I didn't turn up to one of Rotten's parties or something. He gets touchy over things like that. And um, I went down there and he said, do you want to play bass for the Sex Pistols? That gig was, like, so absolutely fucking incredible that, like, my group, the Flowers of Romance, we just could never be as good as that, and there's, there's just no point being second best. And, like, I was thinking of not being in a band anymore then, because, like, I thought, how can you equal that? That's the best gig I ever saw in my life. What made the Sex Pistols different was John Rotten because he was a total anti-star. He didn't like wiggle his bum or shake his hips. He did robot dances and just fucked around and took the piss out of everybody in a real nasty, snidey way. Rotten was like incredible, it's like unbelievable. And Steve was fucking great as well. Glenn was a cunt as always. I fucking loved that band along with a couple of other kids that knew John. I think I was about the biggest fan they ever had. What I did was cash in on the fact that I'm I'm good looking and I have a good figure and girls like me. Well, they want a fucking angel in flares and an anorak. Because if they want that, <laughs> that, that ain't me, baby. We weren't the nice boys they thought we were. We aren't nice boys. We were fucking nasty little bastards. And we still are. All that time when Malcolm was saying, we can't get gigs in the UK, we could have played abroad, we could have fucking done nothing, couldn't we, Julian? Who needs a fucking UK? It's a load of fucking shit. Got a lot of wax in my ears today. So we were left doing nothing, I was just sitting there. We didn't even fucking rehearse. Nobody wanted to fucking rehearse or do anything. So, like, you know, it's a logical conclusion, do you know what I mean? Boredom. And, like, I'm that way inclined, so what do I turn to? I like New York dolls, because they were nasty and mean and they wore makeup and they didn't give a shit and they played god-awful rock and roll and they had good names and good hairdos. Vicious is a good word to describe me. I'm not good at fighting, but if I get somebody in the, if I get somebody on the ground, then they are finished. Do you know what I mean? If like if I'm gonna, if I beat somebody, I beat them bad. Yeah, I started it because I hated the Bromley contingent, and I invented a dance that would involve being able to knock them all over the fucking hundred club. So I just used to throw myself about leap up like horizontal and sideways just like boing 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 you'd like land on them and smash them into the floor once we said we're fucking leaving the group unless you fucking get some gigs you stupid little cunt he got something together the next day well he could have done that all the time Stephen pour a pair of sheep they do what malcolm says like the others just didn't understand they thought you know you know, oh, you, you can handle it, man. But, like, dope sickness isn't like that. It's not something that you can just blow away. It's the worst sickness you could ever imagine. You can't get comfortable and you sweat and you're boiling hot and you pour all the sweat and your nose dribbles and, and all of a sudden you get the colds and the sweat turns to fucking ice on you and you put a jumper on and then you're boiling hot again and you take it off and, like, you get cold again and, like, you just can't win, you lie down, and that's not comfortable. You sit up, that's not comfortable. It drives you insane. I don't rest in my life, I don't want to be a junkie at all. In the end, like, I was the only one who had any anarchy left in me. The rest of the band, they couldn't fucking take it. But that was just a load of cobblers. I was just playing bass and going crazy and leaping up and down. He thought I was trying to take over his position as the new Johnny Rotten.